Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Sing Tao. Uh, I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, a lager beer, or a lager, with 4.7% volume. Let's see how it pours. So it's, uh, it's Monday now, and uh, i tell you what, I've got up today. Don't feel like doing anything. Just sat on the settee. It's like the uh, me get up and goes, got up and gone. So try and put it there, try and uh, get it to stay. Well, it says here, founded by British and German settlers in 1903, Singtao is only ever brewed in the seaport of Guangdao, known as Beer Town in northeastern China. Brewed using Laoshan spring water with malted barley, rice and yeast, Sing Tao delivers a light, clean and distinguished taste. And it says there, Sing Tao has a pleasant aroma and a well-balanced taste. It has a high malty flavour and well-hopped character. The domestically grown hops used to brew Sing Tao are of such high quality that they are also exported to European breweries. So there you go. Um, I would say a golden pour, little white head, good lacing around the edge. Quite a stronger multi nose than the, than the normal lagers. And again, quite a nice taste as well. So obviously this is more or less a rice lager. So obviously you've got sake, which is a rice wine. And this is a lager made out of rice. Wow. I suppose in China, if you've got it, use it. And if they've got it, if that's where they do most of the rice comes from, then I mean, you can understand them uh, using it to make lagers. So, crisp, refreshing, and uh, yeah, different aroma. Quite different to the usual standard lager aroma. So we had that thunderstorm last night and now it's uh, beautiful again. Sun's out. And uh, although it looks like we're going to get another thunder today as well. So um, I'm not going to get everything out. Normally, when it's like this, get all the cushions out, you know. But if it's going to be thundering every day, it's, it's not worth the ass of messing about. So, might just get one lot of cushions out so we can have a sit down and uh, chill. Not quite as warm as well, so that's good because the sun yesterday was awfully strong, hot. And I'm just enjoying a bit of a chill time. Although, I haven't got the energy to do anything anyway. It's funny how sometimes you just. You know, you just cannot be bothered, and I've got that cannot be bothered part about me today. Uh, unlike me, really. You know, usually I've got full of beans, but Ooh. so yeah. Um... What's the best-selling beer in the world? And uh, this is quite amazing. Um, Yanjing is the best selling. Then something called Harbin. Heineken. Oh no, that's not the best selling. Sorry, that's that's number. Uh, it's on that list. Skull is up there. Bud Light. Sing Tao. Forty nine million. Forty nine million. What I don't know. Uh, Budweiser. Snow. I've never even heard of Snow. Well, apart from the stuff that falls from the sky, obviously. So, yeah, number one is snow. Number nine, Corona. Number ten, Cause. And Peroni's not even in that list. And no calling and Foster's either. Foster's is not in that list.
and this, this is this is what they say the most brands most sales by volume in 2017 so it's a bit out of date anyway but out of four out of four um Corning and Foster's would have been in the list so yeah I can't fault this at all lovely lovely malt aroma very different to the normal malt aromas it's got a stronger aroma to it but nice and on the taste um, that rice lager makes for a fantastic lager and uh, this would go down well with a nice um, Chinese meal pink pawn and mushrooms a bit of curry on the top oh lovely Wow, that, I've had it before, I um, don't think I've ever reviewed it before, but on a day like this, sunny day, it hits the spot massively, and I uh, can't say any more than that, really, really nice, and uh, yeah, oh, what a purpose, a great aroma, great taste, crisp, refreshing, wow, um, out of five then. Well, I've got to say, um, obviously, uh, not that, to my knowledge, I've not had many rice lagers before, and um, I've got to give it something like four point four five out of five. That was absolutely beautiful. It's funny, isn't it? You look at these brands and you don't really take much notice, and then when you review them and review them, l l you know looking at the aroma and the taste, that they perform admir admirably. So yeah, great. And that's it for this review. That was lovely. Well, calling me bad. Um, out of five, I thought I'd done that, sorry. As always, thanks everyone for subscribing. Thanks for uh, listening and commenting. And uh, as always, stay safe and see you soon. Cheers.